The Kamloops Community Advisory Group, which represents many community interests in the assessment of the proposed Ajax Copper Gold Mine, says that the present assessment process is failing the people of Kamloops. The Community Advisory Group, which hereafter will be called the CAG, has been participating in the current closed-door environmental assessment process, led by the BC Environmental Assessment Office for 15 months. Most CAG members have come to the conclusion that this process is not fair, rigorous, transparent, comprehensive, nor efficient, as was promised. Additional evidence now indicates that increased air pollution will cause serious health human health impacts, leading to increased heart attacks, strokes, cancer, and respiratory illnesses. It will not be possible to prevent all mine emissions from entering the city of Kamloops airshed. Therefore, it is not a question of whether or not there will be health impacts, but how many health problems will be caused by mine emissions. With this in mind, the people of Kamloops deserve transparency. They deserve to know the studies being conducted and the methods being used. Three elementary schools and their respective residential neighborhoods are located within three kilometers downwind of proposed ore and waste rock piles. With the closest school, Pacific Way Elementary, located only 1.3 kilometers downwind from the nearest proposed ore stockpile. Also, a mine this close to residential neighborhoods and land designed for residential expansion will have impacts on property values. In addition to health and property value concerns, the proposed mine will have negative impacts on grasslands and related habitat, nearby ranches, water quality, roads, and Jacko and Inks Lakes. Access along Lac Lejeune Road for residents and tourists will be seriously compromised with no viable alternative access proposed. Another important issue is the close proximity of the Trans Mountain Pipeline, which will skirt the rim of the proposed open pit for about 1.7 kilometers. On March 28th, the CAG wrote a letter to the BC Environmental Assessment Office stating that under the current BC assessment process, the government's own Section 11 order is not being followed. The order clearly states that during the development of the Draft Application Information Requirements, or DARE, the public comment periods are meant to follow government revision to the document. Since the last public comment period, over a year ago, there have been countless revisions made to this document. In the March 28th letter, the CAG requested that a public comment period be granted. Our request was denied. The CAG believes that the protection of human health and property values are fundamental rights in Canada. Due to its proximity, the threat the Ajax mine poses to these rights requires that people who may be affected by this mine have the right to be heard and to ask questions of the proponent in a public hearing format. Therefore, the CAG is again asking Federal Environment Minister Peter Kent to appoint a review panel under the Canadian Environment, Environmental Assessment Act.